right? Make another big point about our core switches. I've been there, and hopefully this is beating a dead horse, but the core switch must be greater than or equal to the workgroup switches. And I'll just draw that diagram, because I can. I found this out the hard way a couple of times, and it kind of gets you some places. Let me bring out another diagram. We'll come back to this one a few times. This is fun. Get to reuse all my diagrams. When I was working in Tulsa, I ran the uh, like the IT student lab. Okay, and what we did is we had we had about. 12 workstations. It wasn't a classroom lab, it was like a learning lab, like where people would mess around with stuff. So I had 12 workstations. I'm only drawing a few of them. And I connected them into a switch. I'm drawing this badly, sorry. So this is my switch. Okay. They made me put in a firewall. You guys know what a firewall is for, right? I'll just put an F on it. A firewall is there because they didn't want students to be doing stupid stuff. Like at the time it was Napster. You guys heard of Napster? So Napster was really huge and they were just about to shut it down and people had just started on a thing called Morpheus. They made me put in a firewall and then that went into another switch, which this was where the rest of the building was and then it went off to the internet, okay? So this is the building, right? These ran at 100 base T, right? 100 megabits per second. This one ran at 100 base T, okay? Now that was great. I also had a little server over here that I got to run my own sort of stuff on. So for example, if I wanted these people to work on some project, I could put it on my server and then they could all get to it, right? So that was fun. Now here's the problem. The firewall had two ports on it. One of the ports was 10, one of them was 100 base T. That was the trusted side that you connected to your switch. The other side was 10 base T, okay? There's where my problem was. So think about this. If I had, there's my little pipe, right? So I have a little tiny baby pipe. This is 10 wide. Then I come into a switch here. And let's just say I have, here's my pipes coming into here. I'll draw my pipes. You guys remember there's that Alaska senator that said the internet isn't like a truck. It's not like a truck. And he's right. There was a question on the exam, wasn't it? It's not like a truck. It's like a series of tubes. Okay? So these tubes hold how much? These are a hundred each. All right? Now inside the switch it has a little thing. And let's say this is like a funnel. Okay, so it has to take this 100 and it has to shorten it down to 10. You remember our little switchboard operator? This is starting to look funny, but that's okay. So our switchboard operator connects that in there. Are we good with that? So it's like the switchboard operator, remember? It has to plug in to here and then this is gonna get us to the internet. Come on, this is awesome. So even one person at high speed is going to put in a lot of stuff here. But luckily this thing can just say, no, I don't want that. Now what happens is, it's like a funnel, I told you. There's a funnel and we drop frames in the funnel. And if we only have a few frames, you know, they go down here and they come out one at a time and that's great. Right? You guys ever dealt with a funnel? You're dealing with a funnel. What happens if you pour the stuff in the funnel too fast? 
it overflows. And it really happens this way. The switch has a thing called an input queue that holds all the frames it needs to switch out. If it's coming out here at a trickle, so it comes in at 100 megabits per second and goes out at 10, then it can't make them out as fast as it comes in. And then the frames start getting dropped. So this is overflow. Okay. So your frame just is going to get dropped. So if there's too much traffic, I'm going to drop frames. You guys ever had a frame dropped on your computer? Like on your, you know, say you're um, browsing on the internet. What's going to happen on your web browser when you drop, when the frame gets dropped? Like there's an error somewhere? It doesn't say that right away, does it? You sit there for a minute. You sit there for a minute and it runs the little spinny wheelie thing or whatever it's doing. And then eventually it says like connection timed out, right? So the frames are dropped. This is fun. So the wheelie spins. And what do you do when it says could not connect? Refresh. You hit refresh. Okay. What is that going to do to our switch that is already overflowing? Gonna right. We're going to resend. And what are we going to call this? A vicious circle? What would we call that? A vicious cycle. Vicious cycle. <laughs> It isn't never ending because eventually you're going to give up, right? You're going you are going to give up. And so it equals a vicious cycle and really this is in ethernet this is a hard crash. The thing about ethernet is if it ever gets overloaded, the resending and the vicious cycle means the network is down and it's down hard. We're talking about a minute or so. This is if everyone is nice and stops doing stuff. <laughs> You're just going to be down a minute. And then, you know, people stop will time out and they'll call you on the phone. If they sit there and hit refresh, 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 the network is going to be down for a long, long time. Okay? So this is one of the reasons we would call this an inverted hierarchy. And it snuck up on me a couple of times that you just don't notice it. You know, you plug in your server some funny place and it turns out the server ends up being at a slower speed than all the clients and then everything just comes crashing down on you. Okay? So inverted hierarchy. An inverted hierarchy is where the core is slower than the work group. If they're the same speed, by the way, the switch just won't take traffic from one of them. They'll just have to wait. So it'll just take a frame, send it, a frame, send it. But here what it's trying to do is it has to take the frame in and then it has to sort of stretch the frame and make it thin. And while it's making it thin, the other stuff comes in and then it just, anyway, kaboom. Those are fun times. It's dropped and then we're sad. So that was sad. Okay. So make sure your core is faster than your work group.